welcome. That was my, my it's good to have all of you here today. Are we on? No. Testing, testing, testing. Check. You want the cordless mic wave? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> they would turn me off anyhow. What do you need from me? We doing okay? Welcome, it's good to have all of you here today. I think we're going to have to start doubling up on showers at the Herger house or something. We can't get all of our showers in on Sunday morning. So anyway, more information what you needed. Did you start that? All right, thank you. No, we're going to do So everybody wants to know, Jill, what's the update on the garage sale? Well, I just got another donation, 843. 843 on the garage sale. Good job, guys. Really good. Thanks, everyone. There's still tons of stuff over there. Yes. There's lots of goodies over there yet. Some food. Some not so good goodies. I guess those would be baddies. <laughs> goodies we're asking for a donation. Russ, you can take for free. On our way back from uh, our retreat, we stopped in Jackson, Michigan for lunch. That's right next to the Sam's Club there. So. I called my mom up and I said, well, we're going to go to Sam's Club. Do you need anything? She says, well, I'm a, a bag of, a nice bag of oranges. <clears throat> so we were just having fun with that for, until we got to her house. We picked up the oranges and we listened to them. <laughs> we talked to them, asked them if they were nice. <laughs> you separated the crabby ones? We told her that they were nice until we got them to the car and then they started talking back. <laughs> They turned into bad oranges, so. <laughs> anyway, part of the weird Herbert sense of humor you get to see. So anyway, so we did, uh, I don't know, Jill and I were talking this morning, and I think that's really very close to, to normal for us. I think that there have even been times since I've been here where what we made was real close to that, or maybe even yeah. a little bit less, so it was a, a good, I think people are tired of being inside and they wanted to get out, they wanted to do something, so. And there were a lot of garage sales going on around here. Uh, the offering receptacle is outside of the sanctuary there. Place for you to put your offering. You can also mail in checks. You can use the online giving option on our website. Uh, several <coughs> ways in which you can give. Oh, let's see. Sharon? Yeah. You and Kathy are counting money this morning. No, I've seen that. Okay. <laughs> I got it in my notes here, and whoever was counting last week got out before I grabbed them, so I decided to <laughs> grab them up front today. Any other announcements that we need to be aware of? Since I was away all week, I decided I wasn't going to preach today, so Wade's going to do the preaching. Hey, sit down. Sit down, people. That's not an excuse to leave. Well, they're worried because they know you're going to leave to sing it. <laughs> so we're kind of trading places. So I'm going to leave the singing, and Wade's going to do the preaching. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nobody got up to leave. So our call to worship this morning is Psalm 105. We're going to do verses 1 through 6 and then 16 through 22. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works which he has done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, your children of Jacob, his chosen yeah. ones. And then skipping down to verse 16. Moreover, he calls for a famine in the land. He destroyed all the provision of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They hurt his feet with fetters, and he was laid in irons. Until the time that his word came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of people let him go free. 
He made him lord of his house and ruler of all of his possessions to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his elders wisdom. May the Lord bless the reading of his word today. <clears throat> Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your presence here with us today. Thank you for uh, your goodness and for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for taking such good care of us. And now we say thanks for this opportunity to worship you. We ask, Lord, for your wisdom and guidance during this time, and we want to dedicate this time to you. And I pray, Lord, that we would be open vessels to receive whatever it is that you have for us today. Guide and direct us now in this time of worship, we pray in Jesus' name. Thanks for allowing us to go away this last week. That was a, an enjoyable time for Julie and I. It's uh, up in White Cloud, Michigan. It's a place called The Shack. <clears throat> they uh, like the sugar shack where they make maple <coughs> syrup. So we brought home a jug of maple syrup. But it's locked away so nobody can get to it except for me. <laughs> I like my maple syrup. Did you know that? He was clapping and then... I was happy and then depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on your Cheerios. Did you just try to undo a clap, Daniel? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, anyway, it's just, it, they really design it just to be a, a time of relaxing. Some of you may be aware of uh, Howard Hendricks. And, um, the idea kind of came from him. It was actually the couple that that uh, started this whole retreat, they were listening to a message by Howard Hendricks where he said that pastors need the opportunity to get away and to relax. And so he contacted Howard and he says, you know, what, if I were to do this kind of a thing, what should I do? Should I include, you know, some type of a curriculum? Or He said, no, just give them a time to rest. And so one of the first things they tell us, maybe I shouldn't tell you this, but the first thing they tell us is, if you need to take a nap, take a nap. If you need to sleep in in the morning, sleep in in the morning. Don't be afraid to rest. And so there's a lot of rest that takes place, but they have a, a box that they give us that's just full of all kinds of uh, books and CDs and stuff for us to go through if we want. Uh, we didn't have any TV all week. We tried to stay away from social media and that sort of stuff. Um, but it's just a good time to relax. It's a time to, to just focus on the Lord and uh, just wonderful, wonderful. I appreciate all of the people that give towards that and uh, appreciate the opportunity to go. So our first, what do we start out with? When we all get to heaven. <laughs>
Thanks. <laughs> in my corner today? Thanks, Thea. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> now we're going to sing a popular song, Christian song, I can only imagine. <clears throat> my mouth is drying out. <clears throat>
be reminded that we don't need to have our, our <clears throat> trials, our pains, our struggles, our sicknesses, all of those things. We don't need to allow that to dictate our life. Whatever it is that we're going through, we can still focus on God and we know that he's in control. Jesus, lover of my soul, 